This building was built in 1964 as a nuclear fallout shelter. It's still used for emergency situations. Emergency management director Spencer Hawkins says this is the hub, the nerve center when Mother Nature gets vicious. So this whole room is now a teleconference system. They mounted cameras on the walls and this little orb picks up all the sound. So even though dozens have their assigned seats with new laptops in this space, an infinite number of people can log in. This is our touchscreen switcher that literally it's point and click of what you want to do for all the screens here. And those big screens dominate the room, giving all the key players access to plenty of platforms. When I'm talking to Ben live on the air about what's going on, you know, after that we can see, we can see what he's saying. Hawkins says they use mostly grant money for all of the hardware updates over the last five years, but they don't have to pay a dime to key in on social media. We can see what people are posting about. We can see what's going on there. So people will, you know, post an Instagram picture of the tree down on Riverside and Pierce, and then we can grab that and get it to the right people. When I'm in here, I'm like, oh man, like this is from the 40s. I was like, I hope nothing falls by itself. Casey Walker is a logistics guy. EMA is now using the old city jail with metal bars and the toilets still intact for storage space. So in our first cell here, we have our EMA coolers that we use when we're having outdoor events. They also have the room to store hundreds of weather radios that Hawkins says they will give out for free in a few weeks. So the fallout shelter has cutting edge technology. It can't safeguard against storms, but it can help to get you with first responders when the winds die down. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News.